I should have done some kind of like welcome back thing, like some kind of YouTube intro, but nah, I'll just, just, just jump right into it. Larry Lee, give me the D. Puh. Ooh, brown. Interesting choice. If you're watching us on YouTube and you don't know the rules, which is kind of weird, you click part two before part one, but hey, not gonna judge. Uh, it's literally like the color of the gun. So it's not like the gun rarity. You see how it says like gun color brown? That's because this gun has brown on it. So it has to be the actual physical color of the gun. That's the gimmick. Let's go assassinate the assassins. We never do this one. And they have some interesting colored guns. Could be good for the run. This was not the best quest to do with no shield. What the? How? I was behind crates. I was behind a small wooden crate, Oni. <sighs> Go back to new grounds. Okay, I can't kill Assassin Oni, so we're just gonna not do this quest after all. And here's the best brown gun of all time. That skews a kind of dark yellow. I disagree. I do not agree with that thesis. Look at that. That is not yellow. In what universe is that yellow? Is there a gun in this game called the Yellow Snow? I feel like there should be. Like, that seems like right up the alley of Gearbox software. Like, if those people were out bowling and they hit a strike, the middle pin would be called Yellow Snow, the name of a gun. Okay, see, look. Lilith's Garmin right there is yellow. This gun is not that color. Look at that. Side-by-side -side comparison. There's no way. See, her, her leg is brown. It's definitely brown. I'm still mad about that guy who said this was yellow. He's not right. He's very wrong. Mom, someone's wrong on the internet. Mom. Oh, crap. Am I gonna get teleported? Oh, yep, there we go. Woo! <laughs> All right, Southpaw, Steam and Power. Now that I have the last go, it's time to assassinate the assassins. Oh, I got him. Wait, what? How did I die? Whatever, I don't care. I got him. See, and assassinate the assassins gives you that little beauty. See, that can count as red or purple. Or... I'm gonna Yeah, I'm gonna say it does count for brown. Because that and that and that is definitely 30% brown. So that's a three color special right there. That's a good find. The more colorful the gun, the better for the run. I'm gonna put that on a t-shirt and sell it. My first official merch. Did I level up yet? Oh, I just did. How convenient. Orange. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say that counts. I think the Op Asimov definitely has enough orange on it. I'll offer you 52 keys for that Op Asimov. Sold. And see, look, here's another great gun. Look at this beauty. We got green. We got yellow. And we got red. That's another triple threat. Merry Christmas. Pfft. Ooh, corrosion. It's been a while since I had a Handsome Jack corrosion in the highlights. Hey, Handsome Jack. What do you have to say about that? Corrosion! Much better. Holy crap, I burned that guy to death. I guess you could say I raised the roof and another good gun that's pretty good that's like three for four on the rare guns what we get Ooh, ooh, a fallout 76 reference the car is not orange i mean the car isn't okay fine whatever i'll change it i guess i am going to use it to kill some bandit cars so i guess i can make it orange for you it does make sense fire melon red that's orangish right yeah sure asus tn panel says red i have nvidia so I don't care what Asus thinks. <laughs> Team Green, baby. All right, place your bets. Will the caravan guards drop bandit car parts? And nope, they didn't. I drive a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. Where's a bandit car? I need to shoot it and then steal his parts. Uh, uh. I think I see a bandit car. Uh, uh, I think I see a bandit. Let's kill him by shooting him with a machine gun. He's dead now. Time to pick his tire up and head back to Ellie's garage to make a car. Then go save Roland. Copyright claimed by YouTube for singing this. Bad Maul descends from the heaven to face the Vault Hunter. Little does he know he's about to be killed 100 times in a row. Get him, Bad Maul. Oh, no, I didn't know. I was just quoting the thing. I didn't mean actually get him. Bad Maul, expose your feet. Don't clip that. Don't take that out of context. Wait, did he die from the flame dot? Ha ha. <laughs> Idiot, you suck. Looks like things didn't go so good for Bad Maul. I was playing City Skylines and I hired an architect to build me a new thing. I was like, all right, architect, we got to figure out a way 
to get across the water here. And he's like, well, I can, I can probably whip something up with like, with like a blueprint. He's like, yeah, I can, I can make you a blueprint. I'm like, okay, why don't you take a blueprint and go ahead and draw a bridge. This might be kind of long though, because I don't have any like good guns. Like usually I just like skyrocket this guy and kill him instantly. But I mean, I'm shooting him with Flint's tinderbox. That should tell you everything you need to know. How do you feel about flame dots? Not very passionately, I see. Right on the spot, make up an Xbox 360 gamer tag. Uh, Memorial Brigade 3. Oh crap, the TDR gun. That's the Mr. TDR special right there. Gotta avoid that at all costs. Thank you for the level, bad mall. Alright, let's see. What do we got? Orange again. I saw on one of those Steam weekend sales that Middle Earth Shadow of War was $15. And I want to play that game. But when the first game came out, I didn't get it. And then I waited like three years and I got the first game on sale on Steam for five bucks. And it was really fun. And then when they announced the second one, I said, I will buy that game when it is five dollars. Eventually, I'm going to get it for five. I could go to a like shady key reseller, I'm sure, like Kingwin or G2A and get it for five. But I'm waiting for the official Steam sale to be for five dollars. Then I will buy that game. It looks pretty good. I can't wait to play it, but <laughs> not for 15 bucks. I love Shadow of Mordor. Same, man. It was a great game. Like it was a it was a nice little fun open world game. Did not waste your time. I 100 percent of the whole game in 20 hours. And most of that was just like doing regular missions. Like I spent like three hours at the end to polish it up because I was having so much fun. But yeah, that was a that was a nice solid little game. Bad mall, I gotta say, you're doing a very bad job of getting him. Your only job is to get him, bad mall. And um you just uh well, well you just keep dying. Get him, bad mall. Oh my god, bad mall. I wasn't even shooting at you that time. It was a free shot and you still blew it your quarterly report will not be glowing oh hang on is that a vladoff barrel with orange oh it is oh i'm using this thing heck yeah oh look at it go look at it go things are heating up with this new pistol at my disposal there we go Alrighty. what we got next gray apparently g-r-e-y is the british spelling of gray but i like that spelling better so that's the one i'm using a for america e for england that's a great mnemonic device okay i'm gonna officially classify the three dog as gray even though it's pretty obviously supposed to be black because i want to use it all right adipa that's gray <laughs> all right we don't need any other guns we don't have to check the rest of the inventory nice shotgun bad mall pretty good pretty good you're improving so you actually downed me that time oh crap wait no you can't you can't actually kill me though hang on hang on here Let's, uh, let's get one thing straight, Bad Maul. Oh, crap. He got me. Bad Maul, you finally got me. I'm so proud. I'm going to get a bumper sticker that says, Proud Parent of a Bad Maul. Whoa, bro. Another one? Oh, dude. No way, man. No way. Inflammatory Umbridge. Whoa, that looks sick, bro. Look at the barrel. Oh, it's got the same exact parts as the last one. Wow. Thank you, Bad Maul. All right, that's enough. You, you've had you've had a rough day, dude. I'll let you, I'll let you rest for now. Blue, okay. All righty. In the blue department, we have this doll SMG. Nice. We have maybe this sniper. Maybe, maybe. Ooh, that's... I don't know. That's close. I'm not sure. Let's see. Do I have anything else? Um... No, we have nothing else. So it looks like, hey, that, that's the, hey, that sniper, yeah. That sniper looks pretty blue to me, yeah, yeah. So the bloodshots are mad at Roland for kicking them out of Sanctuary, but like, the bloodshot dam is way nicer. This place is so spacious. Would you rather live in the bloodshot dam or Sanctuary? Let me know in the comments. If I teleported you to Sanctuary right now and you had to pee, where, where, where would you go? Where's the nearest bathroom in Sanctuary? Do you even know? I don't know. Meanwhile, over here in the Chad bloodshot dam, literally every room has like five porta potties. You'll never be lacking for bathroom space. Roland thinks Sanctuary is better than Bloodshot Dam, huh? Well, you know where Roland got put his opinion? In the potty. Oh, whoa, dude. A blue shield, yes. <laughs> I have a shield, wow. I'm not used to this. Hey, Roland, test run for an handsome Jack kills you, so he's gonna go, bam, sup, and then you're gonna die, okay? Yeah, yeah, just, just lay on the floor, just like that, perfect. Roland, I'm here to save you. Hit E on the thing. What? C come on, dude, we gotta go. Nope, not until you hit E. Why? Just to, let's, go, let's go. Come on, I'm here to bust you out. Nope. Hit E on those bars. Okay, fine. Jeez. Vault Hunter. You really got to learn to look out behind you, man. Like, this this should have been the point in your life where you say, hey, maybe I should watch my back sometimes, especially around Hyperion stuff. 
All right, Bloodshot Dam, Pacifist Run. Can I get there without hurting anything? Hey, we made it. Didn't have to fire a single shot. Okay, but now we kind of have to. Freaking Roland. Making me break my vow of pacifism. You can't top Jessup RP. Yeah, I know. I will never top the Jessup RP run. But, uh, anyways. Tune in next episode for more wacky color wheel hijinks.